money. If you owe me 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 money. A viral video featuring former TV star Kimani Mbogwa is circulating online. In the video, the talented journalist is seen passionately ranting and expressing himself on social media, visibly distressed with sweat and tears. Initially, viewers assumed it was just another of his typical social media rants. However, recent revelations paint a different picture. It turns out Kimani's outburst was sparked by the shocking discovery that he contracted HIV and AIDS after having sex with an unnamed woman. In a tweet from an account claiming to be Uhuru Kenyatta Jr., which is a name Kimani often uses, it is alleged that a woman infected Kimani with HIV and AIDS, leading to his recent outburst in a video threatening her. Yes. So you knew you had AIDS and you slept with me and gave me AIDS, he said. However, many netizens remain skeptical as Kimani's social media presence has been erratic, with accounts appearing and disappearing under various names. Additionally, there is uncertainty about whether the account truly belongs to Kimani Mbugwa himself. The journalist who has been struggling with bipolar disorder continues to face challenges with his mental health despite treatment from Madari Mental Hospital. For more than a month, Kimani has been showcasing troubling habits on his TikTok account, prompting netizens to plead for assistance on his behalf. Yo, this is a call to all men. Uh, let's rally up, let's come together. Our brother needs our help. Mayday, mayday. One man is about to get down, so let's come together. Our brother Kimani is hurting, and what we're doing online is not helping the situation. When a brother is naked, we cover their nakedness. That's what we need to do. Sharing his videos is not helping him. Commenting, oh, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, is not helping him. Posting it on TikTok for likes and views is not helping him. I reached out to him a while ago. He didn't show up at Likula Fair, but now he's what under the bridge. So now I need someone who knows where he is, where we can find him. And Wanaume, the like-minded individuals, hit my DM, let's see what we can do to help him. Let's find a hospital, let's drag his ass over there, let's admit him. He will thank us later. But let's try and do something for his benefit. Okay, so it my dear Mwanaume, let's come through, man. In 2023, the TikTok community in Kenya rallied to support Kimani after his hospital discharge, raising over half a million Kenyan shillings to help him secure housing and maintain stability. Hello everybody, Kimani Mbogo here, Mr. Former Many Things. Now, I want to come back to you and say thank you for all the support and all the love. Especially here on TikTok, I am so happy. I am, you can see it on my face. I, I am, I don't know, I am just overjoyed. And I just wanted to say thank you to you for the amount, each, each and every one of you who gave any amount of money I've received from as low as 20 bob, 50 bob, 100 bob to 100,000. Thank you so, so, so much for helping me get back on my feet. Today I got an equipment, I got a new shooting device and I got a microphone, which means I am going back to the streets. Sadly, many months later, it appears that the support may have been in vain as Kimani has hinted at a return to mental health struggles. Yes, I have said that. Anybody who owes me money, if you owe 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 me money, my number is 07.
tell you guys, <laughs> you do not want to owe Elon Musk money. So yesterday, Elon Musk and I talked. He called me yesterday at around 3.46 a.m. So he called me at around 3.46 a.m. We talked on WhatsApp and uh, we talked business. We have a lot of business, business arrangements together. And uh, he's a great guy. Uh, he called me, he was like, uh, you were looking for me, now you found me. So do what you have to do. And I did what I had to do. So in our conversations, I let him know that people owe me money. My clients are being threatened uh, not to send me money. People are being told not to send my money to me. My m is being locked for instructions if you owe me money. My Safaricom number is 0741. Nine five four six eight one. Please, Duncan Motanya, you owe me thirty thousand shillings. Na bado ujatuma, bro. Oh, na nchizia, na nchizia. Tapata, tapata na.